My name is Brian, and this is your three-minute explainer video of the Reporting Hub. Okay, let's jump into my laptop. So what we're looking at here is the basic UI of Reporting Hub. Now, to get things started, it's helpful to understand that the Reporting Hub is a fully deployed web application to your Azure environment. That means that it's contained within your Azure environment. You maintain full security, full permissions. Uh, your data stays under your control. Your data never leaves your Azure environment. You have complete data autonomy and, and data security when you're using the Reporting Hub. It's a 100% white label application. So the URL is your URL. It's yourapp.com. You have complete control over how the application looks and feels from a coloring and a branding perspective. So let's jump into the basic UI. So on my left-hand side, I have all my content pages that is essentially my Power BI reports. This could be Power BI reports, paginated reports. This could be URLs. This could also be uh, document management pages coming from blob storage. And I have all the same user experience that I would expect with Power BI. I have my filter pane, my tabs across the top, my filtering, my clicking, my dragging, all that experience that I would expect to have, my bookmarks, my favorites. I have all the different report options that I can do in Power BI with Reporting Hub as well. I can even schedule emails and deliver email content to my users based on how I dictate. It is a multi-tenant application. So I can come in and create secure segregated environments for each of my customers or maybe my departments so that when, let's say BMW is my customer, they can come in and they can access a secure environment specific to them that's branded with their content specifically. I can come in and I can very easily edit my theme. Again, it's a white label application. So I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna select my logo. I'm gonna apply that. Maybe I wanna add a secondary logo to create a co-branded experience for my customer. In this case, I'm creating a customer, uh, customer portal for an audit firm. I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes. I can come in and choose my different layouts, my colors, my fonts. Everything is configurable so you can create the experience exactly as you would like. Next, I'm gonna come in and manage my content. And this is where I'm gonna add my actual reports. So I wanna say add new, create content page. And this is synced with my Power BI workspaces. So I can come in and you know say, call my report whatever I'd like. I can put an icon if I, if I want to, I can select the workspace that I want to fetch my content from, and I can simply select and choose the report that I'd like to embed. I can choose specific pages that I'd like to embed. I don't need to embed all of them if I don't want to. I have different page properties that I can choose to set, and I can, of course, assign permissions. And these permissions or security groups would come from whatever authentication scheme you have set up. And because Reporting Hub leverages Power BI Embedded, it's leveraging the Power BI Embedded uh, APIs in the, in the Microsoft SDK. So we can come in and we can actually use different authentication schemes. So you don't have to use Enter ID. I can come in if I wanna set this up and configure with Okta, I can do that. Or with Auth0, I can do that. And I can just simply come in and add a new Auth scheme. In this case, you know, I could choose Okta if I wanted to. Another thing the Reporting Hub is going to do for me is it's going to manage my capacity dynamically and ensure it's only on when I need it to be. It's going to dynamically turn on when my users access the site and it's going to turn off when they no longer are accessing my material. So I only pay for my fabric capacity or my embedded capacity when I need to. And from here, I'll exit the admin panel and I'll go back and here's all the content that I created in a very convenient self-serve portal for my end users that I own and have complete control over how I deliver that to my end users. Um.